So Pearl just got her mastery title updated to this. But we mastered her over a month ago to see if she was OP or not. Here's how. Just do it. Now, a great way to see if a brawler feels good or not is to push him to 1K trophies right away on day one. So we quickly gemmed the pass, unlocked her, got her second star power, the shield one, and then the burning gadget. But we'll go over the best ones to pick later on. Uh, so we hopped right into our first game. We're on full heat right now. Why am I worried, by the way? We're playing bots this first game. Like, look at that gear. He's burning to death, literally. For those of you that haven't seen super it's crazy seven almost eight thousand damage we did we do have cubes but still that's a lot of heat right there right after that the very next game we were already having server leg issues and i'm only bringing this up because i'm foreshadowing as this happened a lot this push sadly and you're gonna see the craziest intense leg game you'll ever see in a little bit here what the heck is going on but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. For me honest, Kevin Turner as the showdown map actually sucked for Pearl, and we only got 128 trophies in 30 minutes of showdown. So we switched to Brawl Ball and immediately lost. My teammates are just getting destroyed instantly. I mean, that one I feel like was rough. So it's either Pearl sucks or I sucks confirmed. But what we did know is the potential for Pearl to have crazy goal plays like this in Brawl Ball. Like where she just break the walls like that is gonna be pretty crazy, dude. And a little bit later, I actually found a duplicate me in game, but I had my heart broken, man. What the frick? I just realized this guy's name is my name. He stole my name, but he's good, so it's fine, I guess. We're playing again. Oh, he backed out. I wanted to play with myself again. But at least now we were heating up with Pearl. See what I did there? And we went 16 and 2 with her, got to 250 trophies and bronze ones on the master track, and we were starting to finally get good, consistent goals with her. That's the goal I was waiting for. Pass it to yourself, break them walls, and walk it in. Like that. Oh my gosh. Byron gets crushed. Get that mastery rank up. Oh. <laughs> The dirty, the super, the triple super, bro. And all those plays took us to 500 trophy pearl, but then the server leg got us all as the entire lobby literally could not move. And it was just a rough time. Dude, what's up with these Brawl Star servers? That's in, that's in, that's in. That's a goal. Let's go, the leg goal, bro. And this leg went on for what felt like forever, honestly, but at least we were learning how to play this way. I figured it out. There's just a slight delay. Get another delay. See, we can play with this. Now go run right to this tick. Okay, we got another one. And again, honestly, this went on for another 10 minutes until the game had enough and was like, yo, this game's never gonna end. And things got crazy. What the frick? What the heck? What the heck? What in the world is going on? <laughs> what the heck is going on? How do we lose that? What? Penny was 16 kills? So the end of the game blew my mind. Anyone else seen this ever happen before? I have not, but we just continued on after that and the games were actually back to normal. So we were able to hit bronze three and learn her super is fast enough to counter Frank. It can even knock a Frank. Oh my. Dude, it's quick enough to where you see a Frank, it can knock him out of his super. Real talk though, honestly, who does not counter Frank at this point? But good for Pearl that you can. But a bit later, we hit Silver 1 on the Mastery, along with 750 trophy Pearl. And we're getting some more good goals. Bro. There we go. But at least shortly after we got to Silver 2 on the Mastery and had this crazy pass play away from Michelle Super to win, which took us all the way to 900 Trophy Pearl. Then a bit later, we got 950, so we had to level up Pearl here. We still have one more level to go with Pearl 2 because she has the Brawl Pass skin. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Enko's skin equals wins. We got all the way to two games away from 1K Trophies. Ooh, you think you can squeeze it in there? And we're silver three. So yay, only one game away from a thousand trophies. And it was tied 1-1 in Brawl Ball until Zeus the Mortis literally ripped our hearts out.
I'll give him that one. Such a good goal. And sadly, that was our downfall for a bit right there as we get one game away again and then lose. Do it again and then lose. The Shelly's hyperchargers and BBs were everywhere, which are actually really good versus our comp until finally we were capped on mastery for the day. And also we were one game away from a thousand trophies again. To be honest, guys, this is do or die for me. Good start. Get melted, dude. Get melted, fool. Is it over? It's freaking over. Let's go. Uh, 1K. Whatever. Pearl. So Pearl's hypercharge is here today. Get it with that code BT1. This is gonna make the mastery push crazy. But we're also at 8,300. Cause on the treadmill I was playing, cause you see that on the bottom, it is mastery madness weekend. We get a whole lot of masteries fast. Dude, you see the burn right there? That's what I'm telling you, it's OP. All right, first time, hypercharge Pearl, what up? That speed boost is so important, bro. Ooh. Because Pearl is slow innately unless she's like full heat. So the hypercharge just allows her to make a ton more plays and just be more mobile. So many master points for Mastery Madness. After that, we decided to drop in trophies quick to get quicker matchmaking. But then the very first game this happened. Dude, this, I'm trying to drop and what the heck is going on? I didn't even, I wasn't even moving. Well, might as well see what happens. Oh, this feels so dirty, bro. <laughs> We're all getting up on one jelly. Of course I get betrayed. And then we were back to 800 trophies again and we were finally winning fast again, but I was barely even getting my hyperchargers in the game. And that took us all the way to one game away from gold one. Dude, the double supers, let's go. Let's see the speed. My first time getting two hyperchargers in the game, bro. Let's go, man. And that gets us gold one. After that, we had some good plays to end off the day as well. The double supers is crazy, man. I think with that, we're capped for the day. We are. We only got 83. Well, we should be getting 120. Mastery Madness is literally madness. Once again, it was Mastery Madness, but that ball ball map sucked for Pearl. So we decided to play Gem Grab, and I'm not going to lie. Pearl is a beast of a mid as she's pretty thick, has range, and her super protects her from any close range brawlers that want to get right on top of her. But the downside when you play her mid is you don't really make crazy plays with her, but the Mastery Madness event was so OP. Three and a half hours later of grinding, we were already capped on our Mastery for today. And just safe to say, Pearl is a monster and an amazing brawler in Gem Grab as the gem carrier. Started day four hours. I was trying to drop trophies in showdown and we got a legendary that's one of these exclusive star drop pins right there not bad but yeah you can see we're at 1k basically 70,954 so honestly our intentions right here were to drop in trophies again which we kind of were but if we got a good start which happened more often than not we would go for the win and then we were getting win after win after win and even had this crazy fight versus teamers right here not today <laughs> Dude, that was the craziest ending ever, man. Let's go, dude. Kill me. I don't want to gain trophies. But honestly, getting wins on this map is super easy if we have a good start. But we were eventually back down to 800 trophies. But now I wanted to go over why you need to use the burn gadget and the heat retention star power for Pearl in 3v3s for sure here. The burn, like, you always want that damage. It's kind of like a crow shot, so they can't heal up. It burns for longer. It just is so much more versatile. The other heal one is so niche and you're never really going to use it. But then heat retention, especially in 3v3 modes, you're attacking like all the time. You're not really getting your heat up a lot. So that shield, you don't get much value with. Whereas with heat retention, if you, you want to blow off your super, you're good to go. Which I didn't even get my super off there. So before we figured out, Pearl was a really good gem carrier and gem grab. And as the push started going on, I started to realize she was as good in maps that were more open where Pearl can have some space because she is OP at a distance and range. And she has so much health and DPS to just be a menace even up at higher in trophies. So we just abused those open range Brumble maps and gem grab reps. And that got us all the way to 22,500 master points to wrap us up for the day. And we have C tune is wide open for Pearl, and I'm excited about that. So we can just get our heat built up. Pearl is tanky enough just out duels a colt like that oh my can break open this wall here so the bot can just go straight for it they got one bolt this whole time that is pretty rough 
So safe to say, Pearl a really good brawler here. And a bit later, we remember because we almost forgot that we needed to reach Pearl's full potential and power. So we got some more gems with the code BT1, gem the pass, and unlocked her ultimate periscope pearl skin. Full power now. All right, we got this new little skin here. What does it look like when I have full heat? All the bubbles come out. That's so cool. Just gonna walk in on here, get a little damage, damage. <laughs> We're so close. Bro, we can just melt this safe with her super and full heat. The burn, super, and everyone else is on it. Jeez, dude. Pearl is great at defense too with 8-bit DPS, which just melts the boss. Her super can knock it back. So we just continue dominating, and then we were eventually only one star power game away from fully mastering her. If we get star player, we're one game away. <laughs> the annoying thing we have to watch out for is Penny. Notice a ton of pennies and bulls with the hypercharge try and dive. Ty, that, I actually like this ties better, and that helps us out that Piper opened that up because the Penny doesn't have that stupid wall anymore. The burn, dude. All right, we have a massive siege bot inbound. I'm really trying to get my heat up with this push. Fortunately, I don't have my hypercharge up yet. But I'm gonna still try and get to the safe because this deals massive damage, dude. All right, under 50% in one push, we'll take it. But they have five bolts. We only have three, so we gotta clutch up on defense here because this is the last bot. This is good. Even on push back. We, if we win this, it is over. All right, I'm going to try and get star player to get this over. So I need to get my super just like that. Okay, I got to go in with this bot and this should deal massive damage. And that might, even though I didn't get kills a lot there, that might be enough to give me star player. It was, let's go, because of that massive damage, dude. There we go, we have mastered Pearl. I will say on range maps, Pearl is OP. Maps where there's a ton of walls, she struggles a little bit and she does have counters, so it's not like she's broken. But I do think she's a very good brawler. Kind of similar to Spike, honestly, but... Just do it! And I would say unlock her.